This is the best I've ever heard it. Thanks to Yay. thanks to Adrian. You know, thanks to Tetra Speakers. And I mean, it's, it's uh, and you know, we designed these together, but we met in the most unusual way. But the thing is, this guy is really amazing. I mean, he's not like over the top technical. He's just like from the gut. You know, I mean, it's like it's all heart, and um, and that's why his stuff is so good. And it's really. It is really good, and he should be supported. You know, he's, he's he, he. It really is meaningful, and I love that it comes out of Canada. I happen to love Canada, so you know, that's all good. Canada loves you. So these are Rob Fabroni speakers. They they these are. are. This is your edition, right? They are, in here. fact, yes. The six of six. Adrian calls them V Fabronis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful. I mean, very grateful. It's great because, I mean, Herbie Hancock has them and Ron Carter has them, all these people, you know. Adrian, why don't you come up and tell the story? It involves, yeah, Adrian, come on, it involves, get up here. It involves the Stones, Keith Richards, the Weston Hotel, and Lansdowne Park, and, and a couple Adrian of days. And, Ross, and a couple of days. <laughs> come on now, come on. I'm going to have to dig pretty deep here. Um, yeah, I met Rob at a show in New York I went to. Home the, Electronics Show. Home Electronic Show, Hilton of the Americas. And he walked in our room, and we happened to have some uh, speakers uh, painted up as Sgt. Peppers, so all four colors of the four Beatles. There four? Yeah, there are four. Come on. <laughs> you can remember. Stone Sky. Huh? <laughs> um, and he came in, and he heard them and saw them, and he said, oh, these are interesting. Um, they sound good, and uh, Keith would like these. And you look at Rob, and you go, I'm in New York, so there's probably only one Keith that you could say, not say the last name, you go, I get it. So anyway, we just, uh, we talked, we listened a little bit more, and I said, look, I can't sell these, I'm in the States, they're under bond. And so maybe uh, you come after the show, and you take them and go play them for Keith, which is what he did. He showed up in his uh, convertible, we loaded the two speakers in the back seat, and he, drove away with them and a few months later I heard that uh, the Stones were coming to Ottawa and he was coming along as Keith's ears and um, I get the call on the Saturday remember the show was on the Sunday right. going back nine years Rob tells me yeah yeah and um, he calls me as they land and said come to the Westin and uh, meet Keith and we'll go back and figure which speakers will work in the room because they were in the top floor of the Westin uh, Keith really liked the red letters overlooking the canal. He stood there and yeah, the view. We were yeah, we we're very into the there's view. a wedding going on. He says, "What's going on?" I said, "Keith, that's a wedding." You know, <laughs> see the girl in the dress. Anyway, um, <laughs> we go. We get a couple of pairs of speakers. We hook them up, and Keith, to listen, pulls out uh, two CDs. The first one was John Lennon's jukebox contents on a CD, and full of all the crackles and pops. And we listen to that together. And then he put on some Warren Zevon, which is, if you know Keith, uh, expensive winos, um, his guitarist Waddy Wachtel, Waddy Wachtel which yeah. he plays with Warren. And uh, anyway, we're on the love seat together, Keith and I, and Rob's observing, which he does very well. Stands back and watches what's happening, sets you up and you go. But uh, there I was, and Keith calls for the new album, Bigger Bang. And uh, I hadn't heard it, it was coming out on Tuesday. So it was uh, now Saturday before. So there I was hearing the Stones album, first time ever on a love seat with Keith Richards, listening to my speakers, and we're doing this together. <laughs> so I turned to Keith, and it's uh, rough justice, and it's like, Keith, right out of the gate, it's fantastic, right? Just same as usual. And he goes, uh, he says, Adrian, great speakers, right? He paid me back. And uh, so um, I decided to go for it. Keith, you know where I get my inspiration? I said, no, tell me. Said, well, it comes to me in my sleep. He looks at me and goes, like satisfaction, brother. I get it. <laughs> so we spent like three days together. And at, time, at one point, I found myself alone with him with his guitar, and he's picking this beautiful lyrical thing. And he does it, and we're across the boardroom table from each other. And he looks at me. He's waiting for me to say, I didn't know he could do that. I didn't say that, I just looked at him. But uh, it was very, very amazing and powerful and the speakers brought me there. The speakers brought Rob Verboni here. You're here because of the speakers. I'm very grateful for these speakers. Yeah. <laughs>
Me too. That's a good man. He's a little too tall, though. You have to adjust the microphone. Okay. He's not, he, I'm not quite that tall. And my elevator shoes are in my bag. Um, so anyway, uh, that's good, isn't it? I mean, it's all like really human interest stories. You know, it's like, uh, here's Sorry. a guy that has a band that covers Rolling Stone songs and that, you know, and, and Keith is so magnanimous about this kind of stuff. You know, it's really good. And, and you know, the thing that's great though is that this is a long time ago that we did this and these things really stand up. I mean, I've never heard anything that sounds as good as this since. And so we had to do this and it worked, and it was like amazing, you know, just the way it all worked out and, and the way it stood up with the test of time. And then he's designed this new speaker, this 222, and with a, with a subwoofer, and it's kind of like the little son of the, like these speakers had sex, and they came up with those. And, and you know, that's all good. You know, it's, it's, it's all, uh, you know, sanctioned, sanctioned.